بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا مولانا محمد رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد صلاة ترضيك وترضيه وترضى بها عنا في مجلسنا هذا في ساعتنا هذه بما رضيت به عن عبادك الصالحين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي. الحمد لله ان شاء الله بإذن الله تبارك سبحانه وتعالى we we'll continue this week the teaching of uh, in the book of سيدنا مولانا القطب الرباني محي الدين عبد القادر الجيلاني قدس الله سيدنا العزيز ونفعنا بركاته sublime revelation فتح رباني. May Allah grant us to be among the learners. Of the knowledge of truth, and to practice the knowledge for the better of our dunya and akhirah, inshallah. We are still within the 54th discourse, and Brother Aqil will read for us this evening's portion, inshallah. Father. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are at page 371, 54th discourse, the second paragraph, uh, line number 10. The Sheikh. May Allah be well, be well pleased with him. Also went on to say, Whenever you run away from your allotted shares, they cling to you and come chasing after you. So it is not really possible to abstain from them. Rizq. And what Allah prepared for you, <coughs> What is made for you is made for you. What is not, not. So don't trouble yourself by chasing what is not belong to you. What you give in is that's it. But when you start fighting people for uh, what is being allotted to them, of their risk and other things, and you start questioning Allah, why Allah gave me this, never gave me that. Why I have this? Why I have? I don't have that. So you know, we are always uh, demanding, asking more and more. But we don't know that uh, when you want to ask something, where well, you, I mean, ask for more. Are you prepared to deal with it? With that thing. You say I want to be. For example, uh, uh, GM or Director General, are you prepared to be in that post or just by name? The name is responsibility, first of all. A believer, he will know and he will think about the responsibilities before anything, liabilities. Hmm? Yani, you are a father or mother, parents, are you Allah going to question you or not? When you ask for children. Salihin, pious man. I mentioned about this before. A man came to him and said, Ya Sheikh, I Allah bless me with baby boy, I came for you to name him. Choose a good name. He saw that person, he knows he's, you know, a useless fellow. No deen. All things he did in his life is. So he said, I won't name him Muhammad or Mahmoud or Ahmed or Ali or Omar or then. I will name him Peter. Or Robert or something. <laughs> so he said, why? He said, I cannot name him this name, Muhammad, or these holy names, or prophet's names, because you are a bad person. You won't look after them. You won't teach them anything. End of the day, they'll be scolded. Muhammad, how you are? Or so and so. How stupid. How lazy you are. How? See, I don't want these names to be insulted because of. 
he, he, he. So this talk about children, not talk about position in company. Yeah, are you not in charge about in your, huh? In your company, are you not in charge about everything? Don't say, oh, I don't know. Then, then don't ask for this position. In those days, the judges, they, uh, anyone, they will run away from being judged. But the judge is high paid post. Because, give him, because the judge normally will give to the people. Like uh, rulers. Uh, because he is under the ruler. He was appointed in the name of the ruler. Sometimes people come, poor, this, that. Sometimes people cannot pay uh, the debt. So the ruler gives them money, you, you, it's okay, pay. So they give money, budget, and they give them also extra money. Because they are generous. Yeah? So, but the people used to run away. Because he's giving judgment to in charge to become qadi. Is is a, is a is a really big responsibility. Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Kullukum ra'in, wa kullukum masoon al raiyatihi." All of you are in charge of something, and you are responsible, questionable for that. Allah will question you. Don't think that you're not going to be questioned. There is no one who's exempted. Allah said, We're going to question the people of the Prophet, the sent, messengers sent to them, and we're going to question the messengers as, as well. The messengers chosen by Allah, sent by Allah to the people whom Allah wants. But still Allah is going to question them. See? So, don't think that when you ask for something because of position, you're going to be away from question or, you know. And who's going to question you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself. Uh, Sayyidina Umar bin Abdul Aziz, radiallahu anhu. When he died, before he died, last stage of his life, he left for his children very little. He said, look, you, uh, if you're good people, salihin, Allah will bless you and give you a risk. And if you are not, I'm not going to leave money for bad people. And Allah questioned me about it. Hmm? He said, in my life, I can't work. I can't get money from here. They offer them. The ruler will be, uh, they will offer him. But I thought of, if I become angry, Jahannam. Or I have poor, less question. And for you, if you salih, you will get what is related to you. Your aqsam in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So later, these people, they were the richest, in fact. The rich, he left to them, each of them, eight dirhams. Sayyidina Abu Abdul Aziz left to each of his children eight dirhams. His cousin, who was ruler before him, Al Walid bin Abdul Malik, left to each of his children 100,000 golden dinars. Cash. We're not talking about properties. Sayyidina so, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, children, they become very wealthy that they were helping people. Anyone has any issue in his life, debt to be paid, this, they will pay. Building schools, madrasa, paving. Yani. Al Walid bin Abdul Malik, they saw one of his children standing outside masjid. Masjid after Salat, begging people. Become a beggar. Where is the hundred thousand? Where is the money? Never think that the money will make you rich. 
The money will make you wealthy. Uh -huh. Not rich. Rich is not for wealthy, not someone who has so much. Rich is for someone who is satisfied. He is he content with what he has. You, a small house, you have a house, someone built for you, next to you, a huge house. You won't say, why I don't have the same house? You don't care. I have my house. You know, the house is with building, we call it house. With peace in the house, we call it home. So, if you have a house, these concrete walls and etc., that's house. But when there is peace, we call it home. Maskan, Sakina. There are some people, very wealthy people. You cannot imagine how wealthy they are. They cannot sleep at night. They have to take tablet, or they see nightmares when they sleep. They cannot pay huh? a bribe to the angel or something. Of, you know, they sleep so that they can see good dreams. Cannot. Allah, ajib. These qualities of to, I mean, for us to understand that it's not the money make you happy. It's how you deal with that money. Yani if you bought car, that make you happy? That your children will, will be happy? If you always children ask you for anything and you give them, don't think you make them happy. The minute you stop giving them because you don't have, they will hit you. You'll have trouble problem with them. Where is the past? Well, you are the one who made us like that. Huh? So you have to have justice in dealing with Allah's barakah. The Salihin, they, they understood these meanings in a beautiful way. Hmm. And they told the people the important, not the value of things, the important of things. Yesterday, I was, day before, I was just, you know, in, in watching in Facebook. And then one video, one clip came about someone in Dubai. He deal with luxury watches, expensive watches. The watches is $200,000 and above. So he was displaying watch. He said, this watch, the price of this watch, can, you are able to buy Rolls Royce. This one, you have to buy a house. This house, you can, can buy a private jet <laughs> or private airport. The watch. And the funny part, someone came to him, he said, I have 20,000, I want good watch. What watch you want? He said, I want Patek Philip. Ah, yeah. He went to the box, he took Patek Philip, that, you know, and he took the watch outside the box, and he brought the box to him. No, that's not the end of story. He said, smell it, smell the box, he smelled the box, he said, that's a 20,000. <laughs> What came to my mind, and I, we talked talk about that before. Any luxurious watch in your life, this watch has the facilities to bring the past. If you delay of any meeting, will this watch change any, uh, uh, will change the time for you or something? So the, the watch, end of the day, is to see the time. But to respect the time, that's your, you are, you are the, the one who should do that. If you wear Casio, or uh, you wear uh, Rolex, I don't know, huh? Huh? that won't change. Won't change. Time is time. Right? And they said the watch be made for people to respect the time. To know why it uh, has minutes and seconds, because if you should say only minute, 60 minutes, but no. We have minutes and we have seconds. Each one minute, 60 seconds. In racing, the racing, that 
one second has different. In this world record, if someone, his world record, three minutes. Someone came three minutes minus one second. He break that world record. One second. Deep. So, the time not depend on, you know, plus luxurious cars is good. Uh, this is ni'mah. This is blessing. Mubahat. Mubahat means what? It's allowed. As long as you have completed, you paid your zakat, you look after, you know, you know, you're never stingy for your family, you do all your, alhamdulillah. You want to buy something? Alhamdulillah. No issue. No problem. But that's not going to make you great in the eyes of Allah. Make you great in the eyes of the people. Not all of them. So, be happy if you are deal with the time, if you deal with Allah giving you in a proper way. But if you deal with it in a wrong way, that's it. You will be questioned for that. Anyway. It is nevertheless essential to avoid them before they are due to arrive. Mm. Yeah. Learn from me about abstinence and oh. acquisition. This is very important here. Yeah, continue. Do not sit in your corner with your ignorance for company. Apply yourself to study, then go into seclusion. Hey, you see this this part, tafaqqa thumma tazil. Very, very, very important. You have to highlight this. Tafaqqa. You have to what again? Apply yourself to study. Study knowledge. Then, then go into seclusion. Hmm. Continue, continue a little bit here. Apply yourself to the study of the law of Allah, Almighty and Glorious is He, and put it into practice. Then isolate yourself from everyone, with the exception of a few individuals who are learned ulama in Allah, Almighty and Glorious is He. No. Mm -hmm. That you should mingle with them and hear from them is better for you than secluding yourself. When you encounter one of them, you should stick to him and learn from him how to acquire knowledge and experience. Ma'rifah yeah. of Allah. Almighty and glorious is He. Now, okay. Uh, when you, you know, sometimes people say, I want to uh, exile myself from the world and be with Allah. Yeah, I think you have to be with Allah as you are ignorant or with ilm. Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of the creation. When he exiled himself from the people, the word came to him, Iqra. Bismi rabbika alladhi khala. Knowledge. Ya Rasulullah, now you have to pass the knowledge to the people. For them to understand that. Uh -huh. Ilm. If you Exile yourself, say, I'm just doing ibadah. I don't want to mix. Okay, you may do that, but you have to have ilm. Shaitan is, okay, you exile your people. Hmm. You exile yourself from people. But can you exile yourself from shaitan? Or with was? Huh? We will come to you, to your khalwa. Where you sit, on your prayer mat, at tahajjud time. But with ilm, the ilm is what? Vaccine. This vaccine will work, not a fake one. Yeah. i give you one example. There is 
someone called I mean those أهل العبادة يقول عابد worshiper there is another one عالم scholar is عالم and there is عابد worshiper he just pray but if he has any question you have to ask whom as right. worshiper like whom or as عالم 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 So that worshiper, he was exiled himself, exiled him from, abstained himself, what you call, from people. Yeah. And he was just praying, ibadah, zikir, tasbih, istighfar, years. A shaitan came to him in a shape of a pious man. How you know he's pious man? Just because his look? When wearing imama. MashaAllah, beer, tasbih, we say, oh, God, about him, MashaAllah, this is awliya Allah, so I hope with zaman. Yes, and that's my cup, al-arif billah, so and so. Ah. No, 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 no. This is, you cannot judge with Allah in this one. Amal. He, okay, he advised, he have to work with that advice. First of all. One day, Sayyidina Abu Hanifa, Sayyidina Abu Hanifa, Imam al-A'zam, Faqih al-Ummah, more than 60 person of the Ummah in Islamic world, they worship Allah through the fiqh of Abu Hanifa. They pray in the way of Abu fiqh Sayyidina Abu Hanifa, radiyallahu anhu, al-Imam al-A'zam they call. Sayyidina al-Imam Malik said, Imam, I've not seen someone like Abu Hanifa. If he said the pillar, he can argue with me and say this pillar is a rob and he will convince me. He's able to convince me to say this is not pillar, it's a rope. One day Sayyidina Abu Hanifa was talking. Someone asked him question, was teaching, and someone asked him question. He said, Ya Imam, answer an ittaqillah. He said to him, Ittaqillah. Have taqwa. So Sayyidina Imam Abu Hanifa, his face became colorful. And he bowed. And then he looked to him. He said, Jazakallah khair. We need reminder always. Someone to say, Ittaqillah for us. Ittaqillah in your money, Ittaqillah in your family, Ittaqillah in your ilm. That's the most important. They call it, if the alim made mistake, Zallatul alim, Zallatul alim. The slip of alim is a slip of the world. How many people will follow? Especially you have no taqwa. You know, no piety, that's ittaqillah. Sayyidina Imam Malik, person came to him from very far. Imam Malik at his time, Imam al-Ummah, Imam Dawul Hijra, Medina. Came to him and said, uh, yeah, Imam, I have came from, my people have sent me from very far, I came from very far, to ask you about mas'ala, 40 mas'ala, 40 questions. <coughs> so Sayyidina Imam Malik answered only four. He said, how about the rest? He said, I don't know. Huh? You are Imam Malik. And you say, I don't know. He said, yes, I don't know. He said, what am I going to say to my people when I go back? He said, very simple, ride your camel, go back to your people and say to them, Imam Malik doesn't know. He said, I will say I don't know rather than give wrong answer. And Allah question me, Yawm al -qiyama. I won't care about the people. I care what Allah question me about that. Al-alim, Allah. Al-ilm. SubhanAllah, see Imam Malik and Imam, his, his student, Sayyidina Shafi'i. Very beautiful incident happened between them. One day, Imam Sayyidina Shafi'i was sitting in the presence of Sayyidina Imam Malik in the study. A man came to him, to Sayyidina Imam Malik. He said, Ya Imam, I swear by divorce that my wife is more beautiful than the moon or she divorced. So Imam Malik said, she is divorced already. Because 
when to say more beautiful than the moon. I mean, that's example of being so beautiful, correct? So, so she divorced. And he left. Sayyidina Shafi'i followed him. He went finished, he went, followed that person. He said, Akhi, what was your question to Imam Malik? He said, why you care for that? I ask question and finish. You know, just please let me know. He said, I don't care. He went, no, then he followed him, please tell me. He told him, the question I said is my, my wife, Balak, if she, from me, uh, uh, if she's not more beautiful than the moon. He said, no, there's no talaq happen here. Okay, how? He said, because Allah said in Quran, We created the human being in the best of shape. He never talk about the moon like that. So she's more beautiful than the moon. So talaq is uh, not happen. The next day, the person went to Imam Malik and told him, so Imam Malik said, لَقَدْ صَدَقَ الشَّافِعِ Wallahi, Shafi'i said the truth. The next day when Sayyidina Imam Shafi'i went to the class to study under Imam Malik, he saw a written one note on the door to enter to the masjid. He said, مَنْ أَرَادَ الْعِلْمَ النَّفِيسِ فَعَلَيْهِ بِمُحَمَّدْ بِنْ إِدْرِيسِ Whoever wants the precious knowledge, let him follow Muhammad bin Amin, a Shafi'i. His name is Muhammad bin Idris. So Sayyidina Shafi'i put another one. Note, he said, وَكَيْفَ لَا يَكُونُ كَذَلِكَ وَأَنْتَ أُسْتَادِهُ يَا مَالِكْ And if he's not, how is he not going to be like that? And you are his teacher, ya Malik. Allah, see what type of ilm and what type of closeness, what type of taqwa they have. Change that now the way of come to our life and see. Ya Allah. You know, they are someone, oh, I, when I see you, the YouTube and this one, I feel sick, wallahi. By name, what so-called scholars, they call themselves scholars. And so and so, this person, Jahan, he's, he's not talking about a person who is, by name, Sayyidina Rasulullah. When he's, he hears something, he starts, on the top of the member, he says, Why did some people say like that? Like something like this. He never named them. See? So, because the other, it's not our mission is to expose people's faults. Our mission is to cover people's faults and guide them to the right path. Taqwa, ilm. Who the one taught them like that? The ilm. So, there is one alim and one abid. The abid was praying at night. Like Jude, as we said, shaitan came to him and he started praying also. You know, our friend, Miskin, he's tired, sleep, that shaitan continue. Mm -hmm. Prayer between him and Allah. Maqbul, don't care about this. You, Allah won't judge you for the prayer of people. Judge you about your prayer. So he, when he saw him like that, mashaAllah, this is min al-awliya al-saliheen. Yeah, but, huh? mm -hmm. where else? Say, Ya Sheikh, can I be your murid? Ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. <laughs> and he asked him a question. That the shaitan in the shape of. He said, uh, Hadi, you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a power to insert the whole world, the whole world inside chicken egg? Talur. Al-Kachil Talur, isn't it? Talur Ayam. Talur Ayam, yes. Not ostrich. Talur Ayam. He said, huh? The whole world? The whole world? In egg? Inside egg? He said, yes. Can Allah do that? He said, I don't know. Not sure. Ah, shakka fi qudratillah. Huh? Ayatul Kursi. 
من يدعى الكرسي يتعلم الله باور سبحانه وتعالى له ما في السماء so our friend whenever he pray he will think of that my Allah he has خلاص the waves of support the waves of support is gone away from him the same shaitan went to someone else alim tafaqqa said the sheikh what he said educate yourself and then exile why because if you have ilm so he went to the alim he pray he pray he pray our alim doesn't care sleep wake up never ask him he waited for a long time to ask him am i the zikr Hmm? Then he asked him a question. He said, Let me ask. Say, uh, Ustaz, do Allah have the ability and power to insert and put the whole world inside egg? He said, Of course, he can do that. Yes, for sure. Bala. Sayyidina Ibrahim, when Allah said to him, uh, when he said, Ya Allah, قال ربي أرني كيف تحيي الموتى يا الله شو مي هاو يو برين باك ذا ديد تو ذا لايف بيكوز ذا بيبل اسك هيم هاو از ذات جوينغ تو هابن جاست ذي ويل ابير او ذي جوينغ تو كم او ذا داس هاو سو هي وونت تو نو سو ذات وين ذا نون بيليفر كويشن هيم هي نو هاو تو انسر قال ولم تؤمن يا هاو نو بيليف سو بلا هي دينت سي يس اي نو بلا اوف كورس بلا از فيري سترونغ وورد اوف كورس but like let my knuckle be peace in my, my heart i want to explain anyway she so said of course he can do that he said how he said how we can do that he said he created the whole world the whole universe with its people with the creatures from nothing so the one created from nothing he is not able to put everything inside the egg huh the, the the origin of human beings what sperm min nutfatin khalaqahu faqaddara allah said sperm yeah, nothing khalaqahu from that he became human who can build this <laughs> airplane cars so now the ilm but sometimes the ilm if the ilm not make people humble but can reverse against them. The story of Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qajilani where everyone talk about it. Sufi and Sufi, you know, <coughs> Sunni and Sunni, what they call. That story showing something very interesting. The story is very famous. Everyone knows about it. That once he came out from Majid, Majlis Ilm and when he was walking, he saw light, tall, very bright, very, and throne and someone sitting on that throne and he say, oh, Abdul Qadir, I am your Lord. From now onwards, no need for you to pray five times. You have reached a certain level that prayer is not needed for you. And you can do whatever you want. The Sheikh immediately said, A'udhu Billah min ash-shaytan rajeem. You are mal'oon, shaytan. The light off, the thing's gone. Yeah? And he uh, said, he fall down. He said, how do you know I am shaitan? He said, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never gave this to Sayyidina Rasulullah. Till he passed away, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was praying till his legs bleeding. Start bleeding. Who am I to give me this? I am not even a dust compared to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If Allah never gives the Rasulullah, he will give it to me. He said, I have fooled 40 people like you in your level. Uh -huh. I took them out of the straight path, but you are saved because of your ilm. You know what the Sheikh said to him? He said, no, I said that because Allah saved me, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not because if the ilm, he said, yeah, see, I'm a alimul ulama, allama. And the ocean of knowledge. 
and that people have to drink from that sea. Now we have this name, Jalama and many of So that he, even though with his ilm, subhanAllah, with his sincerity, said to him that this is Allah's, for the ilm, but Allah said, Allam al insan is ma lam yalam. It's not, the ilm not come from itself. It's Allah brought the ilm, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to you. Sayyidina Musa went to Khidr to learn from him. قال هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمت رجدا May I please follow you so that you teach me from your wise knowledge guided knowledge Of course Sayyidina Musa is higher than Khidr no doubt in his maqam but Sayyidina Musa any alim he will search of ilm sometimes I saw I, I see I travel overseas I saw someone traveling very far you say, oh, I'm going to take another seven hours flight. What for? I'm going to join one conference. Or oh, there is a talk by Professor so-and-so. I want to attend that course. He going to Elm. Travel all the way. Huh? The Elm. Hmm. Don't expect the Alim to come and teach everyone. Hmm. But what we have now, we say, there are three. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم those who you blessed بالعلم والتقوى والإخلاص sincerity humbleness the other one غير المغضوب عليهم those who are angry with them and Allah curse them نعوذ بالله ولا الضالين and those whom they miss the way and they misguide others and these qualities we have them now someone that day I hear him talking One uh, uh, video. Allah. You know, the words, you know, okay. the way he said the words. You know, the looking. Of course. And he said words about Muslim Ummah. That the, 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 he said, the one who go to say, Ya Muhammad, in Medina, say, Ya Rasulullah, he is worse than the Zani, the one who commits zina. No, he didn't say that. He said worse than that, in fact. I just make it very uh, 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 mild. You are better than the... And the person who go there to say, Ya Rasulullah, you go and ask him, that person, are you worshipping Rasulullah? I say, no, I worship Allah. And he is Rasul whom? Rasul Allah. My belief in Allah brought me to him. Uh, then you ask of him or ask Allah? Of course I ask Allah. Allah is done. You cannot, no, no, I have to check the ingredients of your iman in your heart. Let me check. Who are you? And these people, you know, and as Allah, the Quran described them. And he swear, we should Allah ala ma fi qalbi. But by Allah, we are the right. Wa huwa aladdu khisar. And he's the worst of enemies. This is not someone who, like this stupid guy who talk like that. Huh? The ulama, the most we can say about this, the most we can say, ikhtilaf, there's different opinions. But you support one and say the rest, the ulama of the ummah. Nowadays we have another issue. See how these people sneak to the people's life. They go to people, the life of a businessman, millionaire, to their children, to their relatives. And these only innocent. They meet them somewhere, you know, they talk with them and they have sweet tongue. Uh huh. He give them sweet tongue, but he's a fox. Wool. Inside wool, not a lamb. Inside wool, wolf. Wool and there's a wolf. When they, you know, argue, talk in, in the measures programs, all paid, huh? By the way, paid, paid. 
People go full. And they joke, they make a... And then the people, you know, they will believe on them. Shayateen, what they do? Shayateen will wishwas and this and And they will be in a trouble. Okay, you, these people, unlike them, they are the one who be behind all the extremist groups. It's ISIS, Al-Qaeda, all because of the teaching of these guys. Bid'a, Shirik, Malala, this one. And you know, when you talk with them, no, they, we're against this. But your teaching is like, okay, I celebrate Mawlid, what you consider me? Is it if Sunnah or Bid'a? He say, okay, he won't say Sunnah. If you say Sunnah, or allowed, okay, you celebrate Mawlid, come, let us go to join Mawlid. Celebration. Or say, I am fasting on Monday to celebrate Mawlid of Rasul. No, they won't do that. They won't. Then if it's that means bid'ah, innovation. So I am now, like, if you say it's innovation, huh? so I'm up to there, I'm doing bid'ah. So what is my uh, judgment like? Mean? What is my, the consequences? Balala, against Sunnah, against the teaching of Rasulullah. You see, when you say it like that, you talk bid'ah about Mawlid, you have to know, you have to say bid'ah about someone, what is after that? So these people, wallahi, now they're sneaking here and there. They work very hard. You know why? They are not good in ilm. They are zero. They have two things. Sweet words, and the worst part, in the absence of good ulama, of Ahlul Sunnah and Jama'ah. In the absence. They are, but they don't have capacity of here and there. They are good. Number one. Number two, the language. In Arab countries, it becomes less and less. In countries other than Arab countries nowadays, the English speaking, this one, these people going there. They're going there and disturb the iman of the people. And that's the worst part. La hawla la quwwata. This one, this is not something, this is not a joke. This is something which is, we have to put in our mind and you know, the deen is one time, life one time, one deen. And the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Not fulan and fulan. One, someone, one of these said, they asked him a question. You follow which madhab? Hanafi, Shafi'i? No, I follow Rasulullah. See, they, they talk like that. That's how they fool the people. They say, ah, she, he. Imam Shafi'i, follow what then? Huh? Bible? Or what he follows Shafi'i? Or Abu Hanifa? And they, you know, they criticize the Ummah. The, even Abu Hanifa, he said like, that. oh, okay, you know, you are unable to criticize Abu Hanifa unless you're like in his level. And you see, Abu Hanifa, when you come to him, he will say, Abu Hanifa will argue with anyone. You know the story of the tiger and the, huh? again, huh? the donkey? Uh, this is exactly the same thing. <laughs> tiger is tiger, you know, cannot go down to the level of these donkeys. Uh, don't. I mean, you cannot. The moon, if someone argue with the moon, you, are, you know, some, like some, you know, this guy, there's one. He went to Majlis Ilm. Someone was teaching book. Bukhari, Muslim, Nawawi. Yeah, this book, tradition books. And he said to the uh, Ustad who was teaching the book, what are you doing here? Bukhari, Babel, Wudu, water, types of water. And this, what is this all about? Huh? People have reached to the moon. Are you still teaching these books? So he was, you know, our fr brother Alim said to him, Allah, ya akhi, if people have reached to the moon, that means what? Creature have reached to creature. This creature, moon is a creature, end of the day, sah? Yes. And we are a creature. So creature have reached to creature. Through this knowledge, we want to reach to the creator. And he said to him, and you, mashallah, you are unable to reach to the moon, the creature, and you're unable to reach to the creator. You have lost both. 
You want to go? No, Bismillah. Papa, yalla, take taxi and go to the moon. Or, you know, the moon will come to me. <laughs> so this is one, Abu Hanifa, is one. Uh, like, come to dust to this type of... Not only that, they, they specialize in modifying. They, they don't have books. It's all our books. Imam Nawi, Imam Ghazali, Imam all, Ibn Hajar, Ibn Asyuti, all top ulama. They are our books. They modify. No senate, no ijazah. They won't take, there's no chain, no silsila. Alim to alim. They don't have this. Uh, they will talk in hadith. And, and they, taught, they taught the new generation something funny. When any alim give talk, see, miskin, the miskin, this young generation, the, 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 uh, the, the youth, you say, Ya Sheikh, is this hadith sahih or ba'if? What? Yani, uh, hadith. Who, who are you to say that? You know what da'if? How many types of hadith sahih? How many types of hadith da'if? Have you studied ilm al-hadith? You know? Nothing. That's what they're doing nowadays. And they can reach everywhere. Hmm? Our people, Zamullah khair ulama. Wallahi ulama. We have great scholars. Yani Sayyidina Shaf, if you say someone who is great scholar now, I mean, talk nowadays, I'm not talking about El, nowadays heavy, is like Shafi'i, or like Abu Hanifa nowadays. People, very great scholars. But that's what's happening for them. I mean, that they don't have the capacity of going here and there. You know, that's it. But those people, they go, with, you know, and the people invite them, pay money. And... Wallahi, those people who organize events for this type of speakers, they're not scholars, huh? speakers, and misguide the people. And the people will be, they, they'll break the society. They create fitna in the society. Wallahi, Allah will question them yawm al qiyamah. The question, they will be sorry billions of times. Because they misguide. And they help to misguide. Sunnah sayyah. It's happening now. And the authorities everywhere in this world, whoever Allah put him, stole him as authorized to protect the ummah, and the society of these people, and they never do anything, they will be questioned as well. May Allah protect us. If someone with ilm, with respect, with mahabba, with peace, call for peace, call for ilm, call for the ilm al ulama, call the ilm of uh, our great scholars, ahlan wa sahlan. If someone wants to teach us now, the taqwa and hidayah and talk that Shafi'i is wrong, Malik is wrong, Ahmad bin Hanbal is wrong. Like someone came to Imam Hassan al-Basri. Hassan al-Basri, Sultan al-Tabi'in, the king of Tabi'in. Someone came to him say, I came to argue with you about deen. You know what Sayyidina Hassan al-Basri said? He said, Allah, ya akhi, if you've lost your deen somewhere, go and search of it. That's somewhere. But my deen, alhamdulillah, I know my deen very well. But your deen, you go and... You say, you have lost it somewhere? Sayyidina Imam Ali Karam Allah alayhi salam said, if I argue with Alim, I will win. But if I argue with Jahil, he will win. Jahil. Jahil in a shape of Alim. Always when they talk, they will say something to disturb the people. They disturb the harmony between the people of one country. You know, different religions. Houses, they create problem in one house. Fitna, this fitna to deen. May Allah protect us. We have suffered, the countries in the world suffered because of this type of people. And this extreme te think, uh, teaching. And someone, yesterday, he was, I don't know what, huh? he was uh, someone who do all types of sins in one two months he became what huh uh, sitting people say sheikhi my sheikh a question about this my sheikh question who within one month yani 
he became a, I don't know, Sultan al Ulama. Someone uh, said something very interesting about this how to be a scholar in five days. In five days. How to be scholars in five days. Li Mahari. Five days. Uh, you perform Tauba on Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday you are, you know, Tauba on Sunday. Let go your beard on Monday. Read small book, Kutayb, of Tawheed and this, of this extremist, but they call, unfortunately they call Tawheed. La hawla wa la it's not Tawheed. Read a book of Tawheed and Aqeedah. On Tuesday, open YouTube channel or social media on Wednesday and talk bad about the scholars of Ummah on Thursday, you became Sheikh. Simple. And this is what happened to them. Well, there's people like that. He was a singer, he was, I don't know what. All of a sudden, YouTube and followers, comments, Sheikhna, Ya Sheikh. Sheikh? And when say Imam Shafi is Sheikh. And this is Sheikh? No, Allah. I don't know. May Allah protect our deen. May Allah protect our deen. May Allah protect our deen. May Allah protect our aqida. May Allah protect our children. May Allah keep us safe of anyone who spread the, the language of hatred, the language of kufr, takfir. The one who accused the Ummah, the one who accused the ulama of the Ummah. And may Allah keep our, ourselves away from them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the, the barakah and the strength to the people of authority everywhere to cut off these people, to protect them. This is fitna. This can be cancer. No, we don't want. We don't. This have to be, have to be finished. Inshallah, we, 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 have, we have the ilm, we have the knowledge, we have, we have al-azhar. Huh? We have Zaytura, Karwin, we have great scholars in Syria, many great scholars. We one should not allow these extreme people, no matter how they talk, to enter to our society and may Allah protect us and keep us always safe. And inshallah we follow the advices of a great shiuch, uh, whom they are blessed with ilm, with humbleness, with taqwa, and their name is high. Until now, 1,000 years, we're still reading book of Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir. Imam al-Ghazali, Imam al-Shafi, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Imam Suyuti, Imam Nawawi, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Alwi al-Haddad. All these great scholars who are in their words, you won't find a single letter of hatred. Never, never. And that's why Allah made their knowledge everywhere in this world. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And these people, alas, Sooner or later, they're going to finish, inshallah. Because the, the society will vomit them after that, as it's happening. Inshallah. Allah maghfilana wa rahamna wa rda'anna wa samihna tub alayna wa jalna min ibadika salihin wa muridina wa hashirin wa tahalina fituha al-arifin. Arda'anna ya Allah, kimi ya Allah. Allah madullana ala man yadullana alayk. Allah man taslahta salihin liyakunu salihin. Fa aslihna liyakun minna salihin. وارض عنا يا أرحم الراحمين بما رضيت بين عبادك المتقين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين آمين وصلي اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين قبل الله منكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته